backwards. So this isn't really a challenge, but it's just gonna be kind of like for fun, you know? So a lot of times on Instagram, I see a lot of people doing slime backwards and it seems really fun, so I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna be doing three different slimes. We're gonna do fluffy, butter, and fishbowl. I feel like the butter one is gonna be very interesting since you usually add Daiso clay after you have made the slime, so. Huh, I wonder how that's gonna turn out. And also guys, today's like button challenge is gonna be comment down below. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? I would go to France because I really want to try their pastries. I love bread, like a lot. Or I would go to Bora Bora because it looks super, super pretty in pictures. Who knows if it is that pretty, but I don't know. Anyways, so let's just get straight on to the video. Yo. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is look at the call of God. Fluffy slime, yes! I wanna know how this is gonna turn out. All right guys, let's do this. So, usually I put the glue, and the food coloring, then the shaving cream, and then the borax. So I guess I'm gonna put the borax right now. That's a little hard, but I'm just gonna estimate, I guess, so that should be good, I think. All right, uh, I think it's going good so far. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the shaving cream. There we go. Now let's mix that, I'd usually mix it. Okay, this is how you make shaving cream activator. Boop, 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 there we go. All right, it's like key lime pie feeling. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add the glue. And I guess we just mix it and it should activate since there's an activator in the shaving cream. Guys, this is so trippy. Like, it's shaving cream, but like, it's gonna activate the slime. So that's just so trippy to me. Anyways, let's go ahead and add it. So I got white Elmer's glue right here. New gallon, yes. There we go. It's activating, guys. All right, I guess I'll just start kneading it. Okay, this seems like it's a little overboard, but that's okay, right? All right, um, it's a little overboard, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some more glue. Hopefully that'll fix it. All right, let's just mix that all together. This, this is like going together, guys. This is really bad. All right, guys, I'm finally done making this slime. It is still uh, very, very overactivated, so I guess I will put a lot less next time, like a lot less. Anyway, so here it is. Um, it's not very stretchy, unless you like stretch it extremely slowly. See, super stretchy. <sighs> All right guys, let's do some ASMR now. Should I do it backwards? How'd you guys like that backwards ASMR? <laughs> it was actually really hard to do and it's cramping my hands now and it really hurts. All right guys, let's do some actual ASMR now. It's a little hard to just dance and mark this, but I'm still doing it. All right, guys. Well, I guess that one was kind of a fail because like, I had way too much more. Like, I thought I was gonna need more actually. So that was really that was that, that, that was a slime lesson. And so let's get on to the next one. All right, guys. So the next one we're gonna try to make is fishbowl, and this is actually pellet. So yeah, it's like the pellet fishbowl. I think it's like slushy fishbowl. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's do this. First, I would start out with borax, I guess. So I'm just gonna put like a tiny bit. That's like nothing, but okay, all right. Then I'm gonna put the fishbowl because I'll probably put that after. Put a bunch there, I guess. That's good. Just mix it together. So I'm activating crystals. I decided to put some glitter to make things a little bit more interesting. Anyway, so I got some holographic glitter. Let's just sprinkle that all. It looks so pretty with the fishbowl. Next up is to put some food coloring, or I guess the, the, the second step of, I don't even know how to say that, but anyways, let's just put the food coloring. So I got pink right here. Let's make this, how's it gonna look? Ooh, looks cool. It looks, it doesn't look good though. It, it looks cool, but it looks really weird. All right, and the last step is to add the glue. So let's do that, all right. We got some activating fish bowls right here. Ooh, it looks like caviar. That's what it was. <laughs> all right, so I got some color splash up in here. Let's let the activating begin. 
<gasps> it's so weird how it activates. Did I add too much borax? Are you kidding me? I cut it up. I didn't even add anything. Is this like borax like really, really boraxed? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start kneading it. This is why you add the fishbowl after. Guys, I think I added too much borax. Like, did you see how much I put? I put like like a half a tablespoon. That's how much borax I put. Like, it's crazy. Okay, guys, so I overactivated it apparently. I don't even know how, but oh, let's just add some more glue, I guess. Okay. All right, guys, so here is my slime that I finally came up with. And I just realized that the backwards challenge is probably like like you get what you get like you have to really try and estimate how much you did so the last round I am gonna do that and I'm not gonna fix it at all but anyways I don't know if you guys saw it up but my slide would have been completely just hard and horrible so yeah alright guys let's just do some ASMR now guys I just got a new bag of these fish roll beads and I haven't used them in a while and I am so in love with them I love them so much And I have no idea how this is gonna go, so let's just do it. All right, guys. So for the butter slime, I guess I would put the Dyson clay first, and yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, so we have the Dyson clay block right there. Squish that in, I guess. The borax. So just a little bit, I guess. And that's all I'm gonna put. To mix it. <laughs> okay. All right. This is interesting, guys. Alright guys, so after that, I'd probably add the lotion, so i put like glue, food color, the lotion, then Daiso clay, and then borax, so... Wait, no, borax, then Daiso clay. So I guess we're gonna put the lotion out. Alright, let's just put that in, I guess. I feel like this would be very satisfying, the lotion and the Daiso clay. Guys, this is really hard to mush together. Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and add the food coloring. So this way I'm gonna make it blue, and my hands are filthy with Daiso clay and lotion, it's just so horrible. All right, so let's just do light blue, I guess. Squish that up all in there. Shit in there. <laughs> looks cool, it looks like cake batter or like cookie dough of some sort. Or frosting maybe, I don't know, it looks really cool. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and add the glue now and I don't know how this is gonna, I don't know how this is gonna work out at all. Like the other ones were like kind of like, uh, yeah, they're gonna activate, but like this one, what's gonna go on guys? All right, let's do this. I think that should be good about a glue. Is it gonna activate though? Cause I did not put a lot of borax at all. Guys, this is horrible. Oh my God. It's just all over my hands. I failed the backwards challenge completely. I don't understand. The other one's like completely activated so quickly and so easily. But in the, as soon as I put a little bit, the right amount of barks and this one, this one's like, nope, I need more activator, Amira. Ah. Alright guys, let's do some ASMR now, I guess. Super buttery. Like it even sticks to your hand, buttery. It's unicorn butter. <gasps> unicorn butter, that's so awesome. Alright guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some borax now and I'm gonna try and fix. Alright. Alright guys, look it! It's activating now! Uh, I'm not sure if it's in a good way though, because it seems like it's a little bit too hard, but have hope. <laughs> a few moments later. Okay guys, so this just feels like dried up clay now. Like it's not even stretching. Butter slime is literally so stretchy, and this is not stretching at all. Like, do not make butter slime backwards. Like, it is so hard. Like, what the heck? Okay, guys, I brought up the hair gel, and I'm gonna try and fix this. All right, guys, it seems like it's working. Yes, please. Guys, it is starting to stretch more. I am so happy. I thought it was gonna be horrible. It is 
stretching. Oh my god. Okay, guys, if you accidentally overactivate your butter slime and you are so sad, do not worry. Keep it and get some hair gel. Oh my guys, it is getting so stretchy. Yes. Guys, this is literally one of the best butter slimes I've ever made. It has such a weird consistency. It is just so weird. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and do a slime smoothie now, but I'm just going to go ahead and fix this green slime because it's super rippy still. All right, guys, you guys ready? Make sure to screenshot and post it on Instagram so that I can see the pictures. I love it when you guys do it, so yeah, make sure you do that. I feel like this is gonna be super pretty, guys. And it is, oh my god. Oh my god, toes. Oh my god. I completely, like, just covered all the blue. Oh my god. It's beautiful, guys. Get out of here. Oh my. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Oh my god. Okay, let's just keep going. Oh my god. It's a delight to the senses. All right, guys. Well, that was the slime smoothie. I think it was actually really, really pretty. You guys comment below what your favorite slime smoothie was. Mine would be the cloud cream one I did, but I'm not sure. We've done a lot of slime smoothies. Anyway, make sure you comment below if you want to do a part two. This was pretty fun, I think, and I definitely need to work on making slime backwards because I was really horrible. <laughs> so that is it. I love you so much, and I really hope I see you guys next time. Bye.